Gaijin American is saying thoughts on China limiting homework hours, gaming under 18, and forcing private tutoring to register as non-governmental organizations. Um, well, obviously, it was the um, restricting children to only being able to play three hours of video games and only on the weekend that caught the most attention on the news. Um, I think that's like massive government overreach. Um, I know less about the private tutoring situation, but I, out of all of the, um, measures you listed, I see the most potential positive effect from that one. Cause it could be more of an equalizer, um, between different classes. Um, and limiting homework hours so that children can actually be children theoretically sounds quite good. Armin, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think this is, um, it goes just beyond the examples that you're mentioning. The reason why China grew so much in the past couple of years is because of the government letting go of controlling the people um, and, the, and the economy and the culture and just a little bit of hands-off approach by China just unleashed the dragon. And we just saw an economic, like so-called miracle that happened, like shows how much lack of involvement by government just opens up all the potentials and all the ways that the people themselves know how to grow. Like, and I, unfortunately what we're seeing right now with the Chinese government is a little bit going back to increasing control, increasing involvement, incre increasing manipulation. And I'm not saying that the level of control is high enough for all of that progress to go away. No, China will grow. China will continue to advance. But again, but it would have grown even faster if these things were not there. Like, I think like we should like completely, we should try to see the CCP and the Chinese government separate from China itself. And I think that the, the growth of China is something that is unstoppable. But if anything is slowing it down at all, is the fact that the CCP is middling people's business. Like the potential that is China will eventually be realized against the, against the wishes of the CCP, okay? Because here's the thing. One thing I must say, it's not that these people don't know that what works. The people in charge in China they're extremely smart. They're, in, they're geniuses. They have access to a lot of data. They have access to a lot of information. Like if I come and tell you that the China will grow faster and the more potentials will be met by the Chinese people if the, if the level of control by the government was low, this is not something that, oh, I know about because I've studied some economy and the, the people in charge of CCP don't know. They're not idiots. They know this. But their interest lies elsewhere. They're choosing between their power and the press, between their, their staying in, them staying in power and them threaten, being threatened by losing control. Between that concern and the prosperity of Chinese people, they're choosing their maintaining power. They're not idiots. They, they're actually making correct decisions if if what they only if the only thing they care the main thing that they care about was them not losing control okay so don't when I yeah so they, and it's 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 their fear is justified because china will out the level of progress that china is making and the level of um if if it becomes open and has access to the rest of the world and the eventually china will outgrow the ccp if you notice this, all this economic prosperity is bringing so much wealth to China that the economic power of private businesses will outgrow the power of the CCP. So there is such a thing as too much prosperity for CCP's taste. There, you know, and they don't want that. They want to make sure that they grow economically so that they, the economic power could use, make them more powerful in the military wise and international wise, but not so much that now they're being challenged internally. The greatest threat from C to CCP is not the United States. The greatest threat to CCP is the power of the Chinese people and the economic power of the Chinese people. 
and the relative power that the people will have to their own government. And that's what they recognize. And that's why they don't want to lose control. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.